Alrighty. <laughs> Sorry. 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 So go ahead and take the screws out of that. So what we're going to do here is we've already verified that this drive works. Okay? Uh -huh. So with the verification that this drive actually works, you guys all saw it this morning. We started it up and logged in and logged out. We've talked about the drive and the different parts and everything. We've also talked about why this is such a bad idea. Okay? And why it's not meant to be this way. Don't you just love phone calls? So anyway, um, so what we're going to do here is we are going to take this drive apart. We're going to take the lid off of it. And then after we take the lid off of it, we are going to start this up and we are going to watch the drive actually do the work. Come on, baby Gary. Come on out of the day. Come on. Problems? Yeah. Wiggle her a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Sorry, pressure's getting to me. Hands are getting yeah. a little clammy. Stress. He, he's crumbling under the stress. <laughs> so anyway, recorded. so uh, does anybody remember why this is a bad idea? Because uh, you touch it's it. Because of the air pocket held inside. And it oh. rides on the air pocket. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> All so, of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody that said it. Yes. Very good. And those of you that didn't say it, I know you was thinking it, right? Take her off. Yeah. Everybody says, uh huh. I just <laughs> Take her off. Yes. Take it off. Start it so, up. So here's a little bit of the problem that you're going to have. Oh, there you go. I did pop it loose. So notice, first of all, I want to move in here. Notice how clean and smooth and shiny and unblemished this platter surface is. Don't touch it. <laughs> notice how everything in here is all dust free and you see no fingerprints or anything else. Yes. All right. So we're powered up here, we're energized, so go ahead and turn your power on. Notice, zip, zip, wait, on. before you do that, what position oh was the reed, that's okay, go ahead. <laughs> I, I stopped you too late. So what position was the reed, was the actuator arm in before we started? Do you guys remember that? Yes. yes. So which was it? Um, Joe, you remember? Okay, which, what, what is the term that we use for off the platter? So what do you do with cars when you're parked? They're parked. So why do we park the head off of the platter? If you stop it, it could take the Exactly. Because if you um, if you drop it or if it's jarred or anything, it can impact. So go ahead, yeah, just enter past those. Now notice how the read right head is actually moving a little bit. And notice the location that it's in. It's on the outside edge of the disc. And you can see on the screen what's happening when this is loading. Okay, so as it loads, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some stuff on here. And we're going to make this thing work a little bit. I have a question. Astro. If, I hope, why is it only on the outside edge of the drive right now? Because, it's, because it doesn't have any... It's not, uh, okay. Because it doesn't have much data on it. Okay. Did you raise your hand? Uh, it's kind of... Okay. Hang on. Uh, the other... Those sectors. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so yes. Um, everybody's correct in that. Um, basically, it's reading this on the outside edge because this is where, do you guys remember what, where the hard drive keeps the main part of the operating system before it starts up? The master... Master boot, master boot record. Okay, so we're looking at MBR. So this is where MBR is located on, on the platter and logically located. Okay, so now what I need you to do, now that you got it started up and you're moving through some stuff, we'll make it work a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's do something like, let's partition this drive. So go to your 
I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I just want you to go partition this drive. You should remember how. Mm -hmm. So I want you to partition this drive and just cut it in half. Okay? Right. So you just make two equal size, roughly equal size partitions on here. And then we're going to access this second partition and we're going to see where the drive, where, where the read right head moves over to. Absolutely. We're waiting for the computer. So, do you notice any difference in the sound? It's a lot scratchier. It's a lot. It's a lot louder. It's a lot. And it sounds scratchier and everything. That has to do a lot with the cover, but it also has to do a lot with the vacuum because we know sound does not move in a vacuum. That's just one of the tricks that they use for two different reasons. One, to make the computer quieter, but two. The vibration, the voice vibration, and everything else. And I got a video I want to show you guys later about what voice vibration does to a hard drive when it's saving data. So, anyway. Are we there yet? Yeah. Maybe. Kind of. So we're running a little bit underpowered on this thing, so this thing's having to work extra hard. Um, but anyway, so, so there's two reasons, there's two reasons it's in a vacuum. One, well, the main reason is sound can't travel in a vacuum. And so they vacuum seal this thing to keep it clean, keep it pure, and to keep sound from traveling out of it, so it makes your computer run quieter, but it also keeps sound from traveling in it and affecting it as much. It still does and it still can. That's the first, 2004. Wow. Yep. Oh, so we done yet? How about Boring now? Volume. Now? Oh. Yep. Actually. <laughs> Actually, now that you mentioned it. Cool. Oh, this thing's still running? Okay, we go. It's right in half. Yeah, just roughly in half. That's all I'm looking at. You know, I don't care. Just somewhere right now. So what we're going to do is, after we partition this, I want you to format it. And then, I want you to go to the file manager, and I want you to pull up drive C, and whatever this is going to be called. It's probably going to be called drive B, would be my guess. So I want you to open up these two partitions, and then we're going to drag something from drive C to drive B, and we're, I want you guys to watch this uh, read-write arm, and see, what it, see where it goes. Oh to the logical partition, or the, to the logical spot on the disk when we create the new partition. That is very... And see how, okay, so see, it's moving a lot more now. Now you notice that the magnets down here, the magnets on the back end of it, what were those for, you guys remember? Brittany? You don't remember? Amanda, it, it stabilizes the actuator arm. So you can see how fast this is moving around and how much it's jerking. So you can imagine if this thing wasn't stabilized, how crazy this could get. And now, hopefully, you'll start to realize how, how exactly precise this has to be. Because when we're talking about it, and when we're playing with them in our hands, and we're moving it around, and we're doing the, you don't really get a good sense of how precise this has to be. But if this thing is off just even a, a, a millionth of a millimeter, it's not going to find the information that you put on there. What do you want me to do again? File manager. Uh, it would be the one down here with the folder. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'll click on drive C. Uh, no, new volume. Go back. Okay, so open up another one of these. Put in there again. New window. No. Or you could use control M. Oh, let's try that. Yeah, keyboard shortcuts are awesome. 
Okay, so now go to the second partition that you just created on this one and put these side by side. Okay. Not that silly. Not that either. Who voted this guy do this? Him. Killing me. Him. Him. Himself. 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 You're killing me. My mouse is trash. You're not let me killing do me, Smalls. Hold <laughs> on. Oh, okay, so let's go. So just it. move it over. <laughs> oh Scoot that. <laughs> you not see what's going on here. Uh, I don't. Okay, so just don't. No, hey. So go over here to Windows. Windows. Go to Drive C. Go to Windows. Go to the Windows. Go to the Windows folder. Just pick a folder in the Windows folder, and I want you to drag that folder across. Just drag it over here to the other partition. Uh, no now, while he's doing that, watch the read right head and watch what it does. He can't do it. My mouse is trash. He can't do it. Blame the equipment. No, literally like a double click. Okay, I understand. I'll change it. I totally get you. Here. And in the end, I'll plug it in for you. Oh, my. <laughs> He might need help. No, he says he don't need help, but he needs help. Okay. No. 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 Okay. You can still have to do it once I get it untangled. Uh, can you do down. that? Untangling seems a lot more complicated than just clicking, but, you know, who am I? Well, I want to I don't know. I, I'm, I'm old and I'm intimidated by all this newfangled technology stuff. You young, who young whippersnappers have to do all the time? <laughs> Perfect. Well, yeah. Hang on. Okay. All right. So can you get it this time? Yes. Sir. Drag it over there and copy it and hey, watch. You just want to copy the mouse. <laughs> and copy. Good. See it. All right. So drag another one over so we can see it again. Um, Is it? I don't know. It's doing something. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing that. All right, so now, go ahead and shut this down, and we'll watch it go back into the park position. Shut down. So, yeah. And we'll watch the action of the drive as we shut it down. See how it's writing all the information from? Where is it writing the information from? Where is it store, the, where is it store all the information that's on the screen? Anybody remember? In the middle the RAM. In the RAM, exactly. So what's it doing here when it's taking, when it's shutting down? It's taking it from the RAM, or where's it putting it? On the drive. Back onto the platter. So that's the action that you see here. <coughs> so it's writing all the memory out so it knows where everything is, whatever, everything going on. It parks <coughs> the head, and it shuts it off, and we're done.